Telling me this. Because I've been wondering. Because you put the body in the crop circle. Ah, so you're not using the word? No, no, no. Thank you. Do you? You do recognize this? I do. This is Alan Brooks, the flight of Arizona. He was abducted on September the 16th, 1968, and returned to Earth two days later. And here we have a more detailed photograph showing a double puncture wound in the lower area of the back. That's where samples of spinal fluid were taken. They were shaved, hmm? It's widely believed among ufologists that tufts of hair are taken so that studies can be made of the DNA. I believe it. I believe it to be suspiciously coincidental that these classic symptoms, as you call them in the book, should appear on the body in the crop circle. <laughs> That's precisely because they are classic symptoms. How are you the night before last, Mr. Clay? So, I appreciate you guys watching this for the last minute and 50 seconds. He is al he or she is still alive. I, I don't want to take him out of the tank and put him to death um, just because he's, he's upside down. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what might be causing this. Um, he's one of my longest fish in the tank. Um, he's been pretty durable. The other one is swimming just like normal, but unfortunately this morning I thought he had he had passed away, went to go take him out, and he's like, nope, still alive, so he's a fighter. I just don't know, like, what I should do. Should I take him, like, take water out of the tank, put him into another, like, separate him for a little while, or just basically keep an eye on him? Um, I'm still a novice at the fish situation and I don't want to euthanize a fish way when they don't need to I'd rather know they've completely croaked but like you can see he's still breathing um like he's a fighter see he's, he's going up so I'm, so I'm like I don't know if he has too much air in his or his lungs or not what's going on um so if anybody has any suggestions that would be great. Thank you.